Hello, welcome to another Goldmine 101, our regular series of short presentations giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of Goldmine CRM. And in this session, I'm going to show you how to streamline your inbox with Goldmine email rules. Now, managing emails, I'm sure for most of us, is one of the biggest pain points for busy sales and marketing people. Your inbox is likely overflowing, particularly after the new year with inquiries, follow-ups, queries, spam, um, notifications from different apps that, that may take up valuable time to sort your way through. But what if your email could organize itself automatically. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in this session. We're going to walk through how you can leverage Goldmine CRM's built-in functionality for email rules to try and transform your inbox, even your outbox as well, simplify your daily email workflow and processes there. Hello, I'm Tim Wilmot then and my company, Wizard Systems, we're a specialist CRM solutions provider who help out small and mid-sized organizations improve their sales productivity, marketing and customer service through the use of simple and affordable software solutions like Goldmine. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer those at the end. Also give you an update on any Goldman product news we've got for you. Uh, so let's get started. Just a brief introduction then into Wizard Sisters. We're a long-standing supplier of Goldman Serum. We've been doing it for many, many years. As a leading CRM solutions provider, we actually offer various CRM systems beyond Goldmine. If that's of interest to you, the key benefit we provide as a multi solution CRM supplier provider is the ability to match different businesses, different organizations to the ideal system based on their, their size, their budget, what they do, their industry, um, and specific needs and requirements. And with experience across major CRM platforms, our team has the know how to guide customers through selecting the best software, migrating application from one system to the other. But as regards Goldmine, we're a one-stop shop. We can provide any service around Goldmine. You need just, just call us. Okay, let's dive into Goldmine then and email rules, topic for this session. And before I get into it, here, I mean, I'd just like to mention some of the top features of the Goldmine email rules capability, if you're not um, totally aware of it. We've, we've got the ability to assign categories. You can set up rules to apply specific categories to emails based on criteria like sender, subject line keywords, and a load of other stuff. Email forwarding. Do you want to forward incoming emails matching some particular conditions criteria to, to a team member for, for dealing with further? Record copying. Uh, copy important emails to designated folders uh, on your system for better profiling, categorizing, and filing those emails. Custom notifications, triggers. We can set up triggers, uh, uh, custom on-screen notifications, pop-ups, even sound effects based on certain emails. Uh, an email to task workflow. Think about that uh, process of managing managing an email, a, a journey through your through your company, through your system. It can generate next action tasks appointments in Goldmine with uh, dovetailing with the automated process feature. So with robust criteria for triggers and options for automated actions on incoming emails, um, we can hopefully um, improve your, your productivity. So what we're looking at here is the email rule center. I got to it by from your email center in Goldmine. You can right click there and go to options and go to email rules. Now, email rules are split into your own user rules or global rules. We've defaulted to looking at my particular rules, but on this little toolbar here, there's global rules. We can toggle between your rules, the, the things that manage your emails, 
and then global rules, everybody's emails, okay? So these rules, a bit of terminology for you, just get that out of the way. We've got rule sets, if I go to the top here, this is a rule set. On the left-hand side is like a sort of hierarchy of what I'm trying to, the, the, the way that we store these rules um, in Goldmine. So we've got the rule set within the rule set, we've got rules, and then we've got conditions and actions within that rule. Criteria, if the criteria is met, a particular action will happen automatically. Let me go to a global rule here and show you an example of a simple email that I just created earlier, this one here called New Inquiry. Imagine that we're getting via email um, inquiries sent to us, maybe from a supplier, maybe from a referral source, and with some com kind of common um, criteria, some common information against all these emails. For example, maybe the subject line contains the word inquiry or sales lead or whatever. So if I just edit this one here, I can show you what I mean, the actual concept, the structure of these, um, of these email rules. So this is a rule. I've given it a name and down the bottom here, we can apply that to incoming email or outgoing emails or both. This one is incoming emails. We've got emails coming into us from a supplier. Click next, we'll just find this wizard going through. Dead simple. Right, we could apply a number of different criteria or conditions to this new inquiry. Pay particular attention to this. Um, we've got here, do you want anything in this box here? Do you want all of the conditions must be true for something to take place? Or could it be any of the things below to be true for something to take place? Well, I've got here subject contains inquiry. If I just edit that one there or double click on it, but edit it. Quite simple. We've got the mail field. You can see there's quite a wide range of options you can choose from. Uh, where the email comes from, uh, text in the body of the email, text in the subject line, uh, and so on. Then we've got the condition, normal stuff. If you're used to anything in Goldmine, you'll be used to these, these uh, conditions here, equal to, not equal to, and so on. And then the value that we're looking for. So that's, that's the criteria number one. That's the condition number one. Next step is it's coming from a particular source. So this is where I've said from contains goldmine.com, for example, or whatever the email um, sender address is or part of it. So very simple rule of two conditions. What is going to happen? Well, maybe I want to forward it to a colleague who handles all of the sales in this particular area. So if I just click next here, follow the process along, here are my actions. And there's, <laughs> there's loads and loads of different actions that you can deploy on this, on this particular rule. I've created one already. I'm forwarding it to a particular colleague, but let me just show you that. So action on email, action on those, those conditions um, um, being satisfied. We've got, look at that, look at this, loads of things that you can, oops, loads of things that you can do in there. Um, forward it, for example, um, market has filed. Uh, you can also do such, such things as quarantining certain things based on a certain file extension. Um, loads of different options that you've got there. Where, so this is going to be forwarded to a colleague. Who is it going to go to? Well, maybe that colleague may not use the Goldman application, so I might put in the email address there. There's the little tick box there to checkbox to send immediately. It maybe it's a Goldman user, so I could select that and select the actual user from there if I wanted to. Click OK, click Finish, job done. I've just got to make sure I tick that little box there. Do you see that little box? That turns the rule, makes it active. 
or non-active. All right, so that's active. That it. Oh, you'd have to save it as well. <laughs> Don't forget to save it. But that is all you do. That is now automatically going to monitor your inbox. Uh, well, in this case, global. Um, everyone's inbox um, for any email from that supplier. Does it contain inquiry? Bang, it's going to go to that particular user. And that really is email rules. Um, just think about the toggling again between the um, different rules, Glo uh, user rules or global rules, and test it as well. Always a bit like automated processing goldmine. You want to give it a little bit of thorough testing. So thing up some test emails, te test um, email addresses just to give it a run through, make sure it works OK before applying it live and communicating it to your team as well. Always um, a good idea. All right. Well, that's email rules then. Very straightforward, very powerful. Not many CRM solutions have email rules, but Goldmine does. If you've got any questions around this, um, topic, pop those into the question box on your meeting control, but I'll do my best to answer those for you. Um, so, a uh, question from Jenny. I suppose I need to be logged into Goldmine to trigger emails. Uh, yes, you, so the user would need to be logged into Goldmine. That, that login needs to be active. So the email, is coming in, all right? Um, so if you're using the Outlook integration or using the native Goldmine email client, comes into Goldmine and bang, it's gonna start um, working based on that, based on that uh, email rule or rule set, yeah, exactly. Uh, Anthony, can you nest conditions? Can you nest conditions? Well, if that, yeah, so grouping together a, a, some sort of criteria and uh, some kind of hierarchy. Hmm, that's a good question. There are secondary rules. You might want to play with that. It, I think we need to know a specific example there, Anthony, on what your condition criteria might be. So uh, it's a kind of 50 50 response on that one. You may or may not be able to do that with um, nesting. Uh, certainly nesting, we've got that in, to some extent, we've got that in automated processes in Goldman. So maybe what you're trying to do, as I say, there is a lot of overlap between email rules and automated processes. So an email coming in could trigger an automated process. An automated process could trigger an outgoing email. Um, so yeah, the answer to what you're trying to do could be that. Right, don't think there's any more questions. So thanks um, those of you there for that. Latest news then, as of January 2024, uh, latest release of Goldmine 2023.4. 2023 is the latest, is the major version. And then within that, we've got hot fixes. So this is hot fix number four, like a sort of mini update. All right, we get these mini updates through the year. Uh, if you're not on the latest release, then please contact us for details of uh, the maintenance plans that we've got to make sure you're on the latest release. Always a good idea to be on the latest release of Goldmine. And do you fancy in the new year a Goldmine CRM review? We're doing these a lot with our um, existing Goldmine clients right now, just making sure that Goldmine is working well for you and offering you some advice on going forward to the next six months, 12 months. If you want to review, then please contact any of us at Wizard Systems. That's it, me done then on email rules in Goldmine. If you've got any suggestions for future topics that we run, these events we run on a fairly regular basis, please drop us a line. We'd be happy to consider that something of general appeal to all Goldmine users would be great. But thanks very much for those of you um, attending live. Uh, there's our contact details and our different uh, social networks that we're active on. But thanks very much for your time. We'll catch up with you on the next event. Bye-bye.